All right. So, for those of you who've been following along with my videos, um, this, again, this guy, I went and stayed with him for uh, two nights, like two and a half days. I suspect he's a part of this network that I've been talking about. I was sort of directed into going and staying with him by someone I barely knew, and I didn't know him until I showed up at his door. Um, so I've said, I think at least a couple of times in prior videos that it, I, I strongly suspect he was putting something in my food and he was poisoning me because, um, the, the one night that I was there after dinner, I started feeling very woozy and passed out on the couch. And then the second night I was there after I ate the dinner and he, he prepared, the, prepared the meals while I was there. The second, the... Yeah, the second night I was there after I ate the dinner, um, um, or the, yeah, well, uh, it doesn't matter, like, the specifics, but I'm trying to remember it was two or three nights, but whatever. The last night that I was there, the dinner, uh, tasted, something tasted like acetone in it, so I said that a couple times in past videos, that it, I tasted a very strong, uh, and, and smelled something very strong of, of acetone. It reminded me of acetone nail polish remover. So it turns out, so here's this guy, I remember, and we'll go to his videos, uh, his name is, or his photos, his name is Thomas Pallone, P-I-L-O-N-E, um, but he goes by Tristan E. Nicole now. So remember, I went through and showed you guys how, you know, he's got the sunflowers. There were a lot of things tipping me off when I was there, the mermaids, blue over pink, um, and specifically really also, you know, the butterfly, the heart wing butterfly. This is really scary. So let me show you guys really quickly. Um, turns out that GBL, this GBL, Generally smells like pure chemicals. Think nail polish remover or paint thinner. Now GBL, oh, is chemical. If you ingest it, it turns in your body turns it into GHB. So right here it says closely related drugs with similar sedative and anesthetic effects. When consumed, GBL is converted into GHB in the body. Um, yeah, and while GHB supposedly doesn't have, um, too much of a strong taste or smell, GBL does, and it can come as color, colorless, oily liquids, And a lot of the meals he, he was preparing for me, you know, seemed to have oils and I'm sure, you know, he put, um, I'm sure he made it look like, you know, some balsamic vinaigrette oil and stuff like that. Cause there were like salads he was making me. And just to also reiterate, let's go to Frank's fiction. This is one of my suspects. I've been speaking about him. This is one of, this is his blog. Note the picture here of the reflection in a pond. So you can see the fish, but you can also see the reflection of the trees and the birds. So it looks like the fish are swimming in the sky. And then remember this guy, Thomas A. Pallone, Tristan E. Nicole, this is one of the pictures on his Facebook page. A picture of a reflection in a pond. You can see the trees. You can see birds there. Uh, those little black specks. And you can see the fish as if they're swimming in the sky. Floating, flying in the sky. So, what are the odds, guys, that this 
person would have a photo like this, just like one of my main suspects. Yo him. Oh, by the way, dude, sorry. Have I been mispronouncing your name all the time? I guess the American version is Joachim, but is it, I've heard Yohim or Yohim? Is it Yohim? Like, yo, him, that dude. He did it. <laughs> the mad shady German scientist. <laughs> Uh, I apologize. I, I'm not, so I'll try pronouncing it as Yohim. Does it matter? I mean, y'all tried to have me poisoned. I think I'll pronounce your names any which way I damn well please. Anyway, um, or well, roofied. So for those of you who don't know, who are like, what's GHB? GHB is the date rape drug. GHB is a roofie. <laughs> Why were you trying to to make me pass out? Why were you roofying me? What were you going to do? What would have happened if I hadn't excused myself, gone outside and thrown up that food in the bushes? What would you have done with me? Zay. Tristan. Thomas. Really. Interesting. So, um, one of the main names that are typically given to devil characters and figures in literature and cartoons and so on and so forth is, is Tom. Anyway, yo him. What, what would have happened if you succeeded in roofing me? What, what would you have done? Hmm? You little worms? Anyway, so I'm just, um, chugging along <laughs> just figured I'd put out an update I'm gonna go eat some dinner <laughs>